What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Howard, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Howard. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some pork chop sandwiches. Oh, baby! That's right, that's right, that's right. So, let's get down and dirty and begin our night, shall we? I think we will. Justify my love. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Kind of spooked me a little bit. I was in here singing Madonna. So, <laughs> don't mind that because we're going to get right to the pork chop sandwiches. And you're saying to yourself, like, oh, a pork chop sandwich, really? Well, let me tell you a little story. Today, your old boy Black Owl woke up and, uh, you know, just to put it simply to you, I was flat, broken, busted, cracked out again. So, I looked in the freezer and I was like, you know what? I already have these ribeye thin cut pork chops. Good. Um, I looked in the fridge and I said, you know what I got? I got some banana pepper. I got some pickle spears, not Britney Spears, you know, even though she's having her congratulations. So, and then, uh, you know, I figured, you know, I'll just go get some bread and I'll make me a little pork sandwich, baby. Easy to do, cheap to do. And uh, yeah, so went ahead and mowed the yard today for the first time. So gotta say cheers to that. That first, you know, the first time you mow your yard in the year it should be a national holiday, and I'm gonna make it one tonight. So gonna be a good one. Oh my stars! So we are going to go ahead and not waste any time, baby, because I ain't got time for this shit. We gonna go ahead and take this pork, think that pork, slap it down in that pan, baby. Slap it down, slap it down, and say, I love you so. So, go ahead and put it in there. And once you've got your thing that barked up in there, let's go ahead and take a little bit of salt, baby, the slug's enemy. And we are going to sprinkle that on top. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Lightly now, go lightly. Because we don't want too much on there. It's a little bitty chop, sir. Next, let's have a little black pepper too, just for flavor. And sprinkle, sprinkle that black pepper on there, sir. Good stuff, boy. Good stuff. Now, how about a little uh, garlic? Five. Just enough to keep Elvira away. Well, actually, might, might not want to keep her too far. <laughs> because you know. And a little bit of garlic salt or garlic seasoning or whatever it's called right on top of there, too. Now, because we want a little spice in our life, baby. We just mowed the yard. It's getting warm outside. We want to feel like we're chilling out there in Gangun with, uh, you know, who's ever out there surfing, turfing. And so we'll go ahead and take this chili powder and sprinkle lightly, lightly, lightly. Be careful. Don't want it too hot, but I kind of did, so. Once we get in on there, you're saying to yourself, Black Owl, and you're singing to yourself, fat boy, fat boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it comes to food? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna cook these pork chops real good. Then, when they're done, and it's not gonna take long because they're thin cut, you know, pretty much when you get them in there and you put the seasoning on top, you'll be ready to flip, baby. And flip them around and say, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like uh, whoever sang that song. So, can't remember right now. A little too much uh, natty. We'll get to that in a minute, so. Flip that over and season the same way on the other side. Now, like I say, sir, these aren't going to take very long. They'll be real quick. And we will be able to take them out of the pan and we'll go get our bread. We'll talk more about that. We'll do a little sandwich making, you know, kind of like uh, Subway, have it my way. So, we'll get that done. We'll come back here. We'll have some fun and I'll see you then. And I'll refill my tropical drink here because, you know, I'm a rock. I'm an island. So, <laughs> what can I say? So, see ya then. You know. All right, sweet cheeks. It's sandwich time. And you're saying, Black Owl, you got the bread? Well, buddy, I got some special bread for you today. This here is called Everything Bread. And I'm going to tell you a little something, like I was telling you earlier. You know, when I woke up this morning, I was looking around, seeing what I had. Pockets are touching, sir. Rubbing together. And so I thought, you know, I got the pork, I got the uh, pickles, I got the banana peppers. 
I could just go and get me some bread and get me some lettuce, and I think I could make me a little pork sandwich. So, I went to the stove. I had in mind that I was going to be eating, you know, some hoagie rolls, you know, just to make a little hoagie or something. Started looking at them. Boy, they wanted $3 from them things. I looked over at the old French bread section. One dollar for the everything bread, and that's when I knew every little thing was going to be all right, like Bob Marley. So I got that everything bread tonight, and we are going to go ahead and put our pork on top. And me, I want it big and bad, boy. So I'm going to go ahead and put two pieces on there. Now, next thing that you want to do, get you some of this lettuce. And like I said, I got a head of lettuce here, but not you know the kind of head that Three Six Mafia wanted. This is the good clean stuff. And we're going to put quite a bit of that on top of there. I kind of shredded it, you know, but you can make it as thick or as thin as you want to, sir. So, next thing that you want to do, get you some of these banana peppers that I had back there in the fridge. And like I said, you know, when you're, uh, when you're just looking around and seeing what you got and trying to make things with it, you know, with a, with a little bit of something or a little bit of nothing and a little bit of gumption, you can make a whole lot of good, good, good. So, we're going to put these banana peppers on top of there. And then we're going to take our onion that I was happy to find because you know I love that. Yes, yeah, so. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Or gently lay down like a lay me down like Conway Twitty. So, we got that on there. Next thing that we're going to take is our big old pickle. And you know what I'm talking about, that pickle, that snake bliskin. So, I went ahead and I cut mine in half. And that's just to help it kind of hold together better, baby. So. A little bit of that and it'll give you a little bit of everything in every bite. Everything bread, everything sandwich, everything is good tonight. So, we got everything on top. What's the last thing we got to do is get this old uh, sauce. And speaking of sauce, let me get a little bit of sauce for me first. You know, you've been working me to death. I need a break, sir. Oh, that's good stuff tonight. And you're saying it's a play off. What you sipping on over there? That ain't nothing but something to drink. It's just a little bit old. Natural light with some oranges and uh, my brother's tip punch. If you watch it, thank you. A little lime juice in there. A little citrus flavor. You know I like that. So, good stuff, baby. Balling on a budget. So, speaking of which, last thing that we got to do is put that pickle back on top and then we're going to get that sauce. And we are going to take this sauce and this is some zesty ranch that I've had for a while. And you know I like it zesty, baby. The spice of life. And you want to pour that on there liberally heavily. It's raining sauce. So, we got it, baby. We done. We're going to take the top bun, the top piece of bread. We're going to put it on there. Let's stand back. Let's take a glorious sight. And then we're going to take a big, beautiful bite of this pork chop sandwich tonight. Wow! Maybe the time has come. The pork chop sandwich is done. And I'm in the first bite for myself. So, man, man, man. You know, to think that I woke up this morning and I thought, what am I going to do? And now look at me, living like a gang, baby. So, I got to do it. Mm -mm -mm. All the way in. All over the face, all over the cutting board. Worth it, baby. Worth it. You know, when you step back and look at things, and you figure it out, man, and you go, that works with that, that works with that, this is how I can work things out, something beautiful is going to happen. And it sure did tonight. I'm still having the bite. Mm, 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 mm. You know, what more can I say? right there in front of you. So, I want to thank y'all for being in front of me to watch another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. You make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. So, y'all enjoy that big pork sandwich. Enjoy that beer. And you know, be thankful for what you got. So, I'm thankful for you. And I'll see you next time.